I'm really excited that Verizon Fios is now offering upload speeds as fast as their download speeds for free. So I decided to create a video that uses fiber optic cable to make my computer monitor look awesome. To make the funky fiber optic monitor lights, you're going to need some fiber optic cable. Now this is a cable that has 32 separate fiber optic strands inside of it. And I'll be using some color changing RGB LEDs. A cool thing about this fiber optic cable is one LED will light all of the strands just by placing it on the other end. I'll be using some small diameter vinyl tubing to connect everything together. My desktop monitor will be used for this project and I need to measure the width and the height of the monitor. The frame for our funky lighting will be some regular black foam board. This is an eighth inch thick. I've cut the three-sided frame and I've made it about two inches wide all the way around. Now it's time to get inside this fiber optic cable to reveal all the individual strands and I'll be using a sharp X-Acto to cut a small slice and to peel the shield back. I cut the shielding back about 12 inches on three separate cables. Now for a dangerous tool, a sewing needle. Okay, it's not that dangerous. I'll use it to punch holes in the foam board and the diameter is just small enough to make a tight fit for each strand. I've got 96 separate holes to punch and I have to balance them out so it's evenly lit. Then it's time to start pushing each strand through the holes that I've punched in the foam board. Luckily, all the fiber strands will be on the back and I use some scotch tape to hold things in place. Okay, everything's wired. Now it's time for our connectors, the vinyl tubing. Small pieces were cut that will fit snugly over the fiber optic cable and then the LED is inserted in the other end of the vinyl tubing. Three 330 ohm resistors will be used for each of the LEDs and it's time to start soldering everything together. The LEDs will be wired in parallel, all the positive leads together and all the negative leads together. And I'll be using a USB cable to power it all up, just using the black and red lines which is power and ground. Okay, it's time to take our funky fiber optic monitor light frame and put it on the monitor. Then I pushed all the individual strands flush to the foam board. And now, my funky fiber optic monitor lights. The RGB LEDs look really cool as they change from one color to another. And with the computer off, it makes for some really nice mood lighting. So that's how to make some funky fiber optic monitor lights. Oh, and if you don't have 100% fiber optic Fios, you're not getting 100% of the internet. Only Verizon Fios gives its customers upload speeds that match their download speeds. Click on the Speedmatch logo to learn more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.